Hey guys, what's going on? Happy holidays. It's Jesse and Chelsea from The Young Winos. Now, Jesse, before we start today's episode, normally I have a wine glass in my hand. You uh, handed me a mug. What's with yes, the mug today? Yes, the mugs. Okay, we're going to be drinking some hot wine. which is really, Hot wine? Yes, but not just any hot wine. We're drinking mulled wine. We're going to make some mulled wine. I've never heard of that. What, what is mulled wine? Mulled wine is, uh, it's apparently a British thing. I haven't had it. But what they do is they take some red wine and they heat it up some spices, and apparently it's delicious. Oh my gosh, and sounds very it's supposed very to be festive. the perfect way to get your party started. Right? Exactly. Your holiday party. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, you are getting ready to open this bottle of wine. Yes. I can tell that it's red, it's but red. is there anything other than that that I need to know? Like, is there a specific red that I need to be using if I'm making mulled well, wine? Well, I found out that apparently the Brits traditionally use claret, and claret is a term that the British use to describe Bordeaux, uh, oh. red Bordeaux. But uh, red Bordeaux is a little expensive, first of all. I don't feel the need to cook my red Bordeaux okay. on, on the stove. <laughs> so I got this uh, Nero d'Avola from Sicily, and this is a really exciting grape. This one's mine. Oh, please, my turn. please, hit it up. And it's such you a nice what? color. I'm actually going to have to just real quick. Oh, yeah. danger, danger, danger. Uh, you got to do it sometime. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. It smells really good, though. We are a little bit short of three bottles now. What are we going to tell the guests? Jess, you drank all the wine prior. That's really good. So now what are we going to do? Now that we've poured the wine. Let's cook it up. Let's do it. All right. Spice time. I'm going to start stirring this with a spoon. Okay. And maybe grab the recipe while you're at it. <laughs> the recipe's in my head, baby. Oh. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to hit up the brandy a little bit. Okay. And not in the way that I usually do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot like wine, except it's distilled rather than fermented. So brandy is distilled from grapes. And it's uh, so it's not doesn't smell like wine, does it? No. That smells like business time. Oh, my. Nice to know you. So now, you can even say that this wine is fortified in a very crude way. So how many of these am I putting in? Uh, cinnamon sticks, it said four. Okay. And we got one and a half times as much wine, so I guess six. So six. I guess you just drop them in there. I don't know. Uh, so how many cloves do we put in? Well, it said 12 cloves, so... And Jesse got us ground cloves, so ground therefore cloves I cannot count them. Cloves. I apologize. So now what do we do? I would say maybe... Maybe five cloves is, is like a teaspoon of ground. I don't know. That's me uh, being. Should smart. we just do a little of this, a little yeah, of that? Yeah, a little dash. Let's let's. There we go. That's that's a healthy amount of cloves. I like that. You think? You want it to be clovey. I mean, look. I was gonna go with a little more. Ah, okay, that's a lot. Good. So yeah. why don't you give that a little stir and see what happens? Okay, I'm gonna and I've stir. almost got us some zest oh, here. that's much better than almost. What's going on with the mulled wine? What, why are you stressing? Well, I'll tell you. I've got this British roommate named Ed. He's a really good guy. Okay. Um, but he's, 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 you know, he's kind of he's a little prejudiced against Americans. He doesn't really mm. think that we can, we can do anything right. He doesn't think that our, that our innovations are ever anything useful for society. Ed. My feeling is that if I can make a killer mulled wine and give it to him, and it's as good as anything he ever had back in old Blighty, uh -huh. then he'll be uh, impressed. You can and, prove uh, him wrong. I'll win his uh, respect at last. This is Christmas right here. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, I would call it a success, but the ultimate judge. That's the problem. It's going to be Edward. Okay. So what's, what's in this? Uh, all kinds of stuff. It smells fantastic. Think so? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what do you like about it? Cloves. I can taste the cloves. Taste the cloves. There's cloves in there, yeah? Yeah. Some orange. Some zest of orange. Are you serious? Wine. Yes. There is wine. <laughs> Tea? Okay, well, we're three for four. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's a huge. appreciate it. Wow. Yeah. Shocker. I'll take that. Yeah, I mean, right. that was much better than I expected. Yeah, I thought he was okay. going to hate it. Yeah. No, I mean, I didn't have high hopes. <laughs> but he loved he it. He really liked it. And we love it. And he's a Brit, so, you know, these things matter to him. So I think, I think we definitely passed. And I you know what the good well. news is? 
We had fun doing it. Had fun doing it. It's super fun to make. Everyone should try it. I mean, it's a perfect holiday libation, I would say. I, I would say so, too. I think this is definitely going to be a tradition. Yeah, once a week or so. All right, so cheers to success, cheers right? Cheers to success. I love it. It was so much fun. You guys, check us out next week when we have more videos on Ego TV and on our home at youngwinos.com. We'll see you then. Cheers to that.